What's up everyone, today I'll be showing you guys how to make your very own Bluetooth module for Boom Mod 3 so you can flash on the go without having to pay $300. And you can also use this to data log all your car's info. Alright guys, so here is everything you need to make your own Boom Mod 3 Bluetooth module. I have all this stuff linked in the description down below. First you'll need an SD card. I got a 16 gigabyte SanDisk card right here. Then you'll need a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B. A lot of people say the B Plus wouldn't work, so I just get the regular B, and it's cheaper that way anyway. You need a case for it, and the case comes with a screwdriver and a heatsink. And this is very similar to the case they use in the official module, as you can see right here. And finally, you need a micro USB cable. We're going to start by flashing the Boot Mod 3 software onto the micro SD card that we bought. So you can do this on either Mac OS X or on Windows. It doesn't matter. The application we're going to use is going to work on both. And I'll have all the links you need in the description down below. So first off, you're going to want to click on this Dropbox link right here for the firmware for the Boot Mod 3 module. After you click download, you can go ahead and skip creating an account. You do not need that to download this. As we wait for that to finish up downloading, we can go ahead and download the software we need to flash that file onto our SD card as well. Alright, now that we've downloaded both the firmware and the application, we can go ahead and unzip the firmware. Finally, we can go ahead and open up Etcher, select the image that we just unzipped from that folder, and then we're going to select our SD card after that, and it will flash it onto that SD card. This process should take about 15 minutes or so. Throughout the process, you might get a pop-up from Windows asking you to format the SD card. I accidentally clicked it, but it doesn't matter. The application won't let you do it anyway. You can go ahead and ignore this message. Now that that's done, we can take our SD card and plug it into our Raspberry Pi. Alright, so as we're flashing that file onto the SD card, let's start assembling this since that takes about 15 minutes. All we're going to have to do is put this Raspberry Pi in the case, so you just go ahead, open up the case. Place it inside, and it's going to be held in with four screws as you can see after we put this on. Oh, almost forgot, we want to put the heat sinks on as well. As you can see, now it looks just like the Bluetooth module they sell online. All we have to do is finish up that SD card and plug it in. Alright, now that the micro SD card is ready, we're just going to stick it into the bottom here. And we should be good to go, so let's go test this out. Okay, so now all we need to do is go ahead and use our Enet cable to plug that into the Ethernet port on the Raspberry Pi 3. And then use the USB cable to give it power for the micro USB slot right here. Alright, so I got everything hooked up. It's in the OBT2 port, so it's a bit dark out right now. And I have it hooked up right here. The Ethernet's running through down here, all the way under this trim, and then under this panel right here. Um, Keys Motorsport has a YouTube tutorial on how to wire it like that, and I'll leave a link to his video down in the description below if you guys want to wire it like that. And now all, all I have to do is turn it on and see if it works. So before we do that, you want to set up your personal hotspot so that the name is Boot Mod 3 and the password for it is boot mod 3 as well. And then turn on your car and it should connect to it. So in the video I actually made a little mistake. When you're changing your network name and password, it automatically uh, capitalizes the first letter in your name so make sure that everything is not caps or it won't connect to Wi-Fi I was having that issue but I changed that and now it's connected to my personal hotspot and I even have a splitter going on so connected to both my gauge and the OBD2 port at the same time and everything works so hope you guys can save a few bucks doing it this way instead of buying the $300 version and once again shout out to Jared G F30 on F30 Beamer post for making a tutorial on there